The building buzz becomes a roar in South Florida tonight. A brief but bitter rivalry is reborn in a high energy, high stakes collision with playoff importance. Welcome to Saturday Night Football presented by Walmart and this presentation of the ACC on ESPN. The Fighting Irish, after a four-win season a year ago, find themselves three wins away from being among the final four teams standing in the college football playoff. Miami arrives with a 13-game winning streak. This will be fun. The Cades and the Irish, just like old times. Badgley boots it high, but a chance for a return. And this is Sanders from the three. Bounces off a tackler and a nice return out across the 30 yard line. Play action and Wimbush delivers, deflected, and almost intercepted in his hands. Haynes rush only three. Wimbush has time and delivers a strike. Bouncing off tacklers there is Kevin Stefferson and the speedy receiver out of the doghouse. Different wrinkle from them on that third down. Now it's Adams on first down. This is heavy traffic. Picks his way, but... You feed Adams again. He is a true home run hitter. Haynes rush for Wimbush delivers another strike and Equimenius St. Brown a first down catch at the Miami 35. Edge of it. Two third down conversions and now a first down throw. Wimbush for the end zone. St. Brown over his hands. He had his man beat the safety Jaquan Johnson. Another throw from the pocket. Throw off the hands of the crossing receiver Chase Claypool. Disappointed by Claypool's drop right there. Now on third down, Wimbush is chased, pursued, retreats, and just heaves it down the sidelines. Incomplete. Incomplete Miami lobbying for an interception. With just rushing three, Wimbush looked like he took a chance there. A little ill-advised instead of clearly throwing it away. And a great effort by Bandy, the true freshman. Trying to keep his toes in bounds and come up with that interception. First, Braxton Berrios waits at the 10. Newsom boots it high. Berrios, very sure handed returner, makes the fair catch right there. Angier back, delivers a long throw. Catch made there by Jeff Thomas, and the freshman is loose and he's out across the 30. He can take it the distance on any touch. That is going to be just short of the 20 yard line. Two. Homer. And he scoots for a first down. They're playing without Mark Walton, who's the alpha of this offense, which is this season. Rogier has time from the pocket and delivers a little dart across the middle. That's Herndon getting involved early, the tight end. Down. Rogier again. Brief look downfield. Tried to take off, but he was trapped by Tavon Coney. Here, gets it out quickly, incomplete. Well covered down the middle was Amon Richards. Eagles, the true freshman punter, to boot it away. Chris Fink is the Irish returner. Does not call fair catch and pays a price as he is slammed down at the 22-yard line. He runs in that first possession. Toss sweep. And Miami comes up, hits him, but Adams able to bounce off the tackle. Not able to be in the game. Adams has it again, and he is dragged down for a short game to Tom Rinaldi. Good call, option look, the pitch in the boundary, and the Canes stuff it out and smother him for a loss. He's undersized, quiet but respected leader. And now Newsom punts it to Berrios, who have a chance from the 25. Braxton Berrios, the slot receiver, the fine scholar athlete. First down carry for Homer. And he turns the corner and gets about three. Patient is important as a play caller. Second down throw, incomplete. Threw it into heavy traffic, trying to get the ball again to Richards. Yes, and passes broken up this season. Another one there. It's a screen. Homer has space. Cuts it back. Weaves his way down to the 30-yard line. 
Looking to throw on first down. Herndon makes a hands catch and muscles down inside the 20. Who calls the plays has been frustrated. Rogier takes off. This is one answer as the quarterback slides down for a five-yard gain. Last week that didn't work. Again, a brief look downfield and the quarterback takes off this time. No slide. Power is inside for a first and goal. Fade over the head of Amon Richards, who was covered by Lowe. Rogier again lobbing far side of the end zone. Barrios! Touchdown Miami! And the Canes strike first. The football and got his feet down. What an effort by Barrios. The rest of Pylon Kim going to confirm it. He got both yeah. feet down. Well, the key was did he hold on to the football when he went down the progressive pylon cam showing that he definitely got his feet down and held on to the football what a play there well he he looks like he is really settled in really the last two weeks sanders will leave it in the end zone Wimbush pulls it almost through a pick again as malik young the corner Boy, twice Wimbush has sort of interceptions. Now they hand it to Adams on second down, a short gain. He is fortunate that he hasn't seen the turnover chain already. Haynes only rush three. Throw high. There's the pick. Jaquan Johnson will be the first wearer of the turnover chain tonight. His third interception this season. The low one championship team. He'd have had it a few times. Keep in mind, this is a... Play action and Rogier steps up, delivers near side. Catch made by Jeff Thomas, who steps out. Approach from Mark Brick calling the play so far. Rogier again darts up the middle, slips out of a tackle, stutter steps, scores! We go to a lot of great stadiums and a lot of confidence in the way he played last week. And he said he's off to a great start tonight against Notre Dame. Sanders from the two. Hit hard. You can hear the pads popping. A flag comes in on the return. During the return, holding number 44. 10 yard penalty. First down. Comes in a minute 28. Looking to throw in the first down. Wimbush and not escapes. Dragged down on the edge. Far. Second and 13. Wimbush. Delivers a low throw and it's incomplete. He had the two third down completions, first drive, but he's two for nine. And now in third and 13, Wimbush trying to get it with his legs and he'll be slammed down far short at the 20 by Young. Newsom gets it away. Barrios this time does make a fair catch signal. Kick field goals or the kick holding number 23 on the kicking team. That 10 yard penalty will be assessed at the end of the kick. Down. Quarterback, by the way, with Rogier out to the left, and Dallas is going to take off and fight for some yardage into Notre Dame territory. Something for Notre Dame if they're the team that they think they are. Same look again as Dallas takes off out of the Wildcat, bangs into a blocker, now gets free again. DJ Dallas sets up Miami inside the 25. Same look again. Rick says it's working. We're not going to change it. This time it's a run to the left by Dallas and a short game with a second and ten. Threatening again. Rogier again takes off. Nobody accounting for the quarterback on these draw plays and he gets down near the marker. Deal for these Miami players. This board right here. And now Herndon in the flat. Muscles down inside the ten. Kane's first and goal. Back into the red zone. Two for two tonight for touchdown. Homer stacked up. You know, all the Notre Dame coaches throw far side. A miscommunication as Richards. Irish bring pressure. It's picked up. Rogier's pass is batted down and almost intercepted. A diving attempt. 11 inside 40 yards. This from 23. And a 48 yard field goal drive stretches it to 17 0. Point scoring record. Boots it away, and Sanders again will take a knee. Not gotten untracked, just 16 yards rushing. 
They feed it to him, and Josh around that vaunted left side. And downhill tonight into those linebackers. Got it again, that, running it, left. And it, it, yeah, he. It just, it's, it's very slow. Here. Got to hurry, just get it off. And Wimbush, under immediate pressure, does take off, shows the athletic ability, fights near the marker in the eye formation. An early gamble from Kelly. Adams got it. And fights and battles and stretches for first down yardage. And motion, another one, Wisher. Adams, again, trying to run left, but they have had their way all season long. Slow, the execution. This is Jones, has some space around the left side, a rare positive running play. Be back to you. Well, well, we'll, we'll keep you posted. Meanwhile, Cassidy, third down. Adams not going to get there. Another slow developing play. You need a full yard here on fourth down. And another whistle and a false start on the Irish offense, which will make this a fourth and six. Looks like Robert Hainsey. The true freshman right tackle. And on this Irish team, they have been whipped up front by a Keynes defensive front that was challenged by their coaches all week. And now Barrios from the 25 darts for about an 11 yard return. Miami takes over at the 36. And short gain on the right side from Homer. Quick, all you can drink beer night. I kid you not. The ball Harris. Makes the catch there. Rogier steps up, delivers over the middle. It's dropped. That was Harris who had a chance to move the sticks. A missed opportunity for Miami. And now Fiegels to think on the bounce. It will roll dead at the seven yard line. Since the loss to Georgia, has he? Mm -mm. Looks to throw on first down, delivers high, intercepted. Malik Young looking for a block. Spun down inside the 10 as the turnover chain will make its second appearance tonight. We just, there's the, there's the chain. And there's Malik Young who had a big pick last week. Chris, we just put a package together talking about how he's been erratic. Again, looks to take off. That time ran into traffic, but escapes for a short gain as we take you back to the interception there by Young. Yeah. See, watch, him, watch him put a little bit on it, and by doing that, the ball is just high. Malik Young is... And sometimes you get a Wildcat quarterback in there. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Second down. Go back into the boundary. Rogier buying time and fires it out of bounds. Rogier for the end zone, incomplete. Tried to fire a dart to Langham, the ball himself, this 30 yarder. And the record is his. Of course, but you're a competitor. You think it's going to change, and, and it could. But they've got to be able to get. They've got to get a couple first downs to kind of get their mojo back. It's quick decision to get the ball out. And a handoff for a keep on the edge there by Pinkney. He has run down Carolina game. You got to win. And feed Adams. And I tell you what, if you got this guy in this offensive line and on third down. Here they come. And they swarm him. Book escapes and just heaves it into the bench. One team hadn't been that strong tonight. Newsom's kicked the ball low and allowed Berrios returns. This is a better kick, and Berrios, even though he had a whole lot of space, your top four. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rogier, play action, delivers across the middle, and the catch is made by Lawrence Cager, the rangy receiver. Cager's ninth catch of the season. Now they go far side. Berrios stumbled a bit as he caught the ball, picks up three. Rose. And they think of the far side of Herndon, knocked down. Elko coming from Wake Forest. Down here again. Playing with some tempo, they need to. Homer picks his way, battling and fighting, and he'll be stopped a yard short by Tavon Coney's team. So Kelly, by calling that timeout, perhaps gave his team a chance to cut into the lead before halftime. The high kick by Fiegels. 
Book. Still in the game. Adams still trying to get wide. And the Canes still stacking him up. That was Zach McLeod. He's got enough juice to run against this defense. Cuts it back. Adams picking his way. Do that tonight against Miami. On third and one. Book looks to throw and a completion in the flat and as they do move the sticks which with one timeout approaching a minute 30 book from the pocket throws downfield to St. Brown and makes a catch and is knocked down near midfield Has to get down to protect himself and feed Tony Jones the middle is clogged and They move from their eight to the Miami 42. Book again under pressure. Low throw. Catch made by Jones. Mistake did not find the sidelines. Book climbs the pocket. Delivers a downfield throw and a danger jump ball incomplete. Almost a second interception. Adams is back in the game. Book delivers a dart. Intercepted. Look out. Trajan Bandy, the true freshman. Break out the chain again. They said it. There it is. First time for him. Shane, the first time, and they say he is a future superstar as a true freshman. 66 yards on the pick six, and Miami is putting a beat down on the Irish. Play again for the Canes defense. Notre Dame's last visit to this building. They came in as the number one team. Against Alabama, the BCS championship game, a first round knockout here. 22 seconds before halftime. Miami will get the ball to begin the second half. And after some hesitation, Sanders is going to run it out and be knocked down short of the 20. Team in the country. Can you imagine saying that two weeks ago? It was Adams knocked down. This was the team that was the lowest ranked Power Five unbeaten team coming into that Virginia Tech game. They felt disrespected. They had some narrow escapes. They didn't look great. But you talk about peaking at the second half of the season, growing in confidence by in leaps and bounds every game. Wow. And it's a long history. 710 yards against Wake Forest. Held to 139 by the Hurricanes in the first half. This is Jeff Thomas, the speedy freshman receiver, not able to get past Prinkle. Makes a nice tackle at the 10-yard line. For the Canes, from their 10, Rogier retreats to the end zone and fires into traffic. That was a dangerous throw to their offense. Homer on the delay. Busts in a crease and they'll move the sticks across the 20 yard line. A run with an attitude. Runs angry. He's got it again. Homer in the clear. Travis Homer downfield blocking. He stumbles on his own. This and quickness. He gets on those linebackers and safeties in a hurry. To the 40 yard run, they play with some tempo and Jay Hayes. He's some one on one chances on the outside. Dallas wrestles, breaks through one tackle, is knocked down back at the original line of scrimmage. Fake it to Homer, Rogier is dragged down. Not fooled on the play was Dalen Hayes. And Pretty good quickness, they're going to go for it. Yeah, quick snap there and under pressure Rozier lofts it downfield to Cager who makes a catch inside the 10. He put it up high in the air for the tall receiver. And now Homer as they get back in the red zone they grabbed his face mask but that'll move it half the distance. Personal foul face mask defense number 93. After this is for the ball penalty first down. Rozier hit as he throws. Ball comes out incomplete. Drew Tranquil pressured it. He's got it. Trying to get the edge. Cuts back. Dives to the pylon. Touchdown! And the Canes build the lead. Running back, a high school quarterback, a wide receiver. He gets to the corner. Over out of that backfield. And shifted from receiver to running back to yards in nine plays, four and a half minutes to stretch the lead. 
Checking with Cassidy Herbert, the high four Notre Dame. Well, nice to get Adams going. He is tracked down, hit early by Chad Thomas and wrestled down. Cushion, but he just wasn't right. Doesn't look right tonight. They swing it near side, and the catch is made by Claypool, and she has 71 right now. Third and 13, Wimbush flips it short, and the low throw makes it awkward for Elise Mack. They're down just three for 12. And the punt by Newsom is his best of the night and drives Barrios back to the 30. Homer testing the right side will be knocked down for a short loss. From the looks of it, Homer this time he tries the left side gets a little crease and a burst and a first down across the 40. Perfect balance, Kirk. 22 passes, 22 runs. There's a catch by Harris in a short gain. Georgia at the end. He admits that. He, he was miserable. Harris on the end around. That is snuffed out. And the Irish drop him for a loss. On third and 11, Homer around the end. Are they going to try to convert again on the ground? No, he stopped short this time. Or last week, I should say, was an aberration. He threw three picks against the Hokies in quick succession. Only has four in all the other games. And Bush. Around the left end, scoots out of bounds after a gain of six. Extra Williams is battling some injuries in the backfield now. Wimbush back to throw. It's a downfield to St. Brown, who makes a catch near midfield. For a while, we'll have to keep an eye on whether he returns to this game. All right, Tom, thank you. Wimbush under pressure, looking to check it downfield. Instead, it's dragged down for a loss by Zach McLeod in front. Wimbush on second and 11 feels the pressure again able to step free and delivers underneath the Smythe and the graduate student tight end right there and feed it to Dexter Williams a back who's got some speed the junior from Orlando well, They've been stuck in first gear all night this offense so they could use a gear shift Yeah, as Wimbush is going to be wrestled down. It's a stand-up sack And they have on third and eight, Wimbush a throwback near side. Stefferson gets a block and darts for a first down inside the 20. Wimbush again harassed and sacked. That was Trent Harris showing some speed off the edge. Outside to help out. Four sacks for the Kings to go with the three interceptions. And now Wimbush, a very effective, explosive runner. Blitz again. Wimbush lobs it for the end zone. Jump ball. Touchdown. Going up and getting the football there is Alize Mack, the tight end. And the Irish finally on the scoreboard, 12 seconds in the quarter. Dexter Williams is the back. Wimbush on the run. Cuts it back and scores. And starts jawing to the Canes defenders at the least. High kickoff and Thomas from the three. He's going to be knocked down across the 20 yard line with six seconds to play. And this is how much impact they can make if they show up regularly. Look out. Boston in the clear. Homer out across midfield and finally dragged down. He's after a very quiet first half. Now they spell him with DJ Dallas. And I really like how he finished his, his last carry. We Second and ten, and a handoff to Dallas, who picks his way for a short gain. Changing for the Miami Hurricanes. Great point. Dallas cut down about two yards short of the marker by Devin Studstill. DJ Dallas is the back. And they feed him. And Dallas fights hard. Looks like they will spot him right at the 30, and that should move the sticks. Is the overrated chant who serenades the Irish. Rogier on the keeper around the corner for five yards. There is little doubting. It's a flip of the script as Dallas is slammed down hard after a short game. It'll be third down. And Homer around right end is going to be driven to the ground for a short loss by Greer Martini. He'll be kicking on Sundays for a long time. It's from 42. 
And that is the announcer's jinx as yeah. he misses he did it. He did it. for the first time well in done. his career with 10 05 to play. Wimbush in front of Dexter Williams looking to take a downfield shot and does launch it for Stefferson in the coverage and almost another takeaway. Williams makes a cut. And nice run in traffic out near the 35 just tonight. No, oh, man. Third and one. Williams starts forward and the first down across the 40. Wimbush from the pocket has time, launches downfield and laying out is a Smythe. He, he did go up and get that ball in the end zone. Blind side, ball taken away. Garvin, who had a similar strip sack last week, does it again, forces it, recovers it. Give that man the turnover chain. Down and uses his hands. McGlinchey not moving his feet, bats that ball down in the presence of mind to jump on top of it. I mean, you can't find two more identical plays. He did the same thing to Josh Jackson, that karate chop. And Garvin, another young player, is making a big statement tonight. Remember, it's Bandy, the true freshman, who had the 66-yard pick, six guard. outside the program, touch it, it might jinx it. As Homer takes I, off, I, I, I think it's just I'd the like opposite. I think I accelerated. Hey, dude, you, you're, you're bringing him a little match. <laughs> Homer in a short game. You get many Diaz's thoughts on the, this turnover chain and its importance. It's a local discount, by the way. Homer darts down inside the 10. First and goal just inside the 10. Homer battles hard and slammed down there by Myron. Not continuing to just manage the game here for Mark Rick. And Homer. Knocked down at the five yard line. That Mark Richt has done in two years. Dallas fights down inside the five. They went, they went 10 seasons and fourth down from just inside the five. And they just feed DJ Dallas who lunges for another touchdown. Find a, a backup back and Thomas Jones, Thomas Brown said that he earned the right to become that guy. Down in a couple of weeks. If they win there, they head to the SEC championship game. C.J. Sanders from the five. Auburn, somewhat a forgotten team. Everybody thought this was a conference dominated by Alabama and Georgia. They might have something to say about the undefeated Badgers who look good today, right? Yeah. Down there at number five for you. So <laughs> heads up on that. And St. Brown working hard, breaks free for the 30 yard line in the Irish district on Hill. Wimbush a frustrating night. At times this game looks too fast for him. A flag comes in as he makes a big run down into Miami territory. Joe. Personal foul. They need to block a little waste. Offense number 29. 15 yard penalty. First down. 15 yard penalty. It's first and five now. And Wimbush yeah. flushed again. Has some room. Level with the line of scrimmage as he runs out after a one yard game. Interesting this game for the backup Ian Book. There's a throw incomplete over the middle. The one thing they've done brilliantly besides run the ball continues for another two and a half minutes here in Miami. A result. Substitution infraction on the offense. Five yard penalty. Third down. Dominating in both games. Wimbush over the middle and then the catch is made by Claypool who's knocked down oh, two minutes Hand off and nothing doing I think he's gonna be about a foot short McIntosh stopped by Chad Thomas So each brother's trying to recruit the younger brother to their school Stay in that race for the playoff have a shot to be undefeated and play Clemson in the ACC championship Rogier in the offense efficient Balanced in Miami announcing itself as not just ACC Coastal Division champions, but very strong playoff contenders, national title contenders in year two for Mark Ricks. And as Kelly and the Irish are sent home humbled. What a night in Miami. The rebirth of this rivalry in a big six game was a beatdown. 41-8 for the U.